We're here with Jason Taylor, uh, for my money, the greatest defensive player in Dolphins history. Right. Uh, the, the resume sort of speaks for itself. You won a Defensive Player of the Year award. You had 100 and I think it was 130 tackles for the Dolphins alone, which is sixth all time. When you think back to your career, what are the highlights? What, what, what were the best times? Uh, being with, my, with the teammates, the guys I got to play with, um, Zach Thomas, Dan Marino, Trace Armstrong, Sam Madison and Pat Sertan. I mean, having those two guys outside covering made my job so easy. Mm -hmm. Tim, Tim Bowens and Daryl Gardner inside. Brock Marion at safety. I mean, the list goes on of guys I got to play with that just had a fantastic time. Throughout the years, I mean, Wale, I had Wale and Gouley, Joey Porter. Playing against Richmond Webb every day in practice early on was the best thing that could have happened to me. Mm -hmm. Having Jimmy Johnson for a head coach and playing against Richmond Webb in practice just made me grow up and, and develop. What drove you to be not just a pretty good NFL player, but one of the greats? Um, the desire to be the best or one of the best. Mm -hmm. um, people doubting me, doubters, naysayers, haters, whatever you want to call them. Um, that was it. Were I mean, they out there for you, the, the doubters? You're crazy, yeah. He's too small. He can't do it. He can't play the run. He can't last. Too good looking. He, he's, How can a guy who he, looks like that be He's too soft. He's too this. He's too that. So I, I enjoyed it. I mean, I, it kept me on edge. I'd take negative articles and I'd put them in my locker and I'd look at them. And I wasn't vindictive with it. I wasn't trying to get back in people's face with it. But they know what they say. And then if I proved them wrong, I felt good about it. You know, I tried to go out every week and prove myself. I tried to do it for 15 years. Sometimes I played well, sometimes I didn't play as well. There's a lot of plays I left on the field that'll, that keep me up at night, but if I ever make it to, to Canton, that would be amazing. If I didn't, I had the time of my life. Mm -hmm. I, had a, I, I had a fantastic job for 15 years and loved every minute of it, and my family got to share in it. You play to win championships. In this business, you play to, look, you're going to make money, you're going to get paid regardless. This is, this is not, you know, play for free. You're going to you're gonna get paid, you're going to... If you play well, you're going to be popular. All those things come along with it, but you want to win a championship. That's why I played. I played to be the best and to win. And winning is, means championships. And, I, and it didn't work out that way. So it's, it's, uh, it's a, you know, that's the one regret you really have. Mm -hmm. and I, it, but it's so difficult in this league, too. I mean, you can't do it by yourself. And you understand that. It's not like basketball where one or two guys can change things. It takes a team effort. And, you know, we just weren't, a good enough of a team at those 15 times that we lined up. What led to you twice leaving Miami and twice coming back? The 2007 season had a lot to do with it, but not for what, not the reasons you think, though. Not because we lost, because we were bad, but because Bill Parcells was hired to come save the day here. And Bill traded me in 2008. I did Dancing with the Stars. He wasn't happy about it for whatever reason or whatever, whatever, got him whatever <laughs> yeah he traded me after he sat down and shook my hand and promised me he wasn't going mm -hmm. to by the way a week earlier but yeah he traded me then i came back tony tony fought to get me back in the building and wanted me back here and and then the whole debacle again and with uh with not getting the contract offer and all this, all those things and, and went to, to the jets 20 years from now, your name is going to resonate as, a, as an all-time great with the Dolphins. How do you want to be re remembered? I don't know. I mean, I think, you're, I think you put your body of work out there and just kind of, you know, the celebrity is fleeting. You know, you, your performance lasts a lifetime, and hopefully I performed high enough for some people to have some good thoughts. I, I, I brought it every week. I took a lot of pride in being there being available, being, showing up every Sunday. And I, I think I went, I don't know, nine years without missing a game or mm -hmm. whatever. It was, so that meant a lot to me. Um, I played hard. I tried to be a playmaker and a ball hawk and make guys around me better. And I, and I felt like in more cases than not, that, that happened. You know, I, I really liked having the ability or the being put in a position to kind of elevate other guys' play. And, and I think we... 
I think we had some success. And, and, and I know this, Zach Thomas elevated my play. And Sam Madison and Pastor Sertan elevated my play. And Trace Armstrong and Wale and Goulier. And Joey Porter and Cameron Wake. I mean, the list goes on. Brock Marion. I could sit here all day and give you names. Timbo and Daryl Garner. Right. Richard Webb. Those guys elevated my play, and I hope I did that for guys, too.